Hello and welcome back. My name's Liam from The Basic Brewster. Today we're going to be brewing side by side two Horio V60s. We've got here on the right the Horio V60 matte black in metal and on the left we've got the Horio V60 ceramic matte black. Now both of these drippers are very similarly shaped um, however the price difference is quite big. So the ceramic is about half the price of the metal and besides that another difference is that the metal one has a removable silicon base. But in today's video, I wanna brew side by side these two drippers, taste any differences. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of curious to see whether I can taste any differences. So one thing that might contribute to the difference of taste would be the material. Obviously that's the main difference between these two drippers. The material has two ways of affecting your brew or your cup of coffee. And the first being the way that it interacts with the filter. So we're gonna be using just some standard uh, paper filters from Origami made by Cafex. So these are high quality, um, but they're also quite affordable. So the way that those filters will interact with the dripper, for instance, when you're brewing with a glass dripper, they tend to kind of stick to the wall. Um, and I've also found that to be similar with the ceramic. Whereas the metal dripper, it tends to push it out a little bit. The second part of this is to do with temperature. So obviously the ceramic is a lot more dense and will take out a lot more of that temperature. Whereas the metal is actually quite thin. Um, it's also very conductive. So out of these two, Two drippers I believe that this one will take out more of that heat whereas this one it will keep more of that in but yeah I actually don't know I've never brewed side by side metal versus ceramic let's get started okay so for the sake of consistency I'm actually going to be weighing out the same amount of water uh, that I use to preheat these filters. So everything's set up. The one disadvantage here is that I don't have another set of these scales, so we don't have time. We're just gonna have to estimate a little bit. Everything's teared out. All right, that's about 60 grams. Oh, and that's pretty close. All right, let's empty these. Okay, and we're back. So everything's been set up. I've got the exact same coffee that's been ground at 25 clicks on the Comandante. Uh, everything's teared out. We're going to be using 15 grams. So the plan is, seeing as this one's got the time, whereas this one doesn't, I'm going to start brewing this one first. Once I hit that first pour 30 seconds, I'm going to start this one. Very uncomfortable holding it from this position. I'm trying to keep my pour as consistent as possible. So I've got the same amount of agitation in each bruise. You can see that once I've started my pour on both of these brews, I've got the filter setting perfectly. So it's a good sign on both of these drippers. And this is our last pour for the metal. I'm going in for our last pour on our ceramic. And this one's finished. Two minutes 30, 2.25. So honestly, not too much of a big difference. So I'm just going to remove the drippers. Okay, so not a massive difference in brew time. Um, I think if anything, it was more down to technique uh, comparing anything else. Uh, for this recipe, we use 15 grams of coffee in each, 25 licks on the Comandante for grind size, and a total of 250 grams of water divided into five stage pours for both brews. So we really should have a really bright, vibrant, acidic cup of coffee. So both of these cups of coffee are not gonna be very different at all. Uh, based on the brew method, the same coffee, the same technique for both of these, we're really narrowing it down to the one difference, which is the material of the dripper. Now, must say this is not scientific. This is just a little bit of fun. There's way more extraneous variables at play here, but for the sake of it, if there is any massive difference, we should be able to taste the difference. So it still is a fun experiment. And if you've got these two drippers or other drippers at home, try it, have fun, brew side by side. Um, and yeah, let me know how you go. I'm super curious to know the difference. All right, these, these coffees have been sitting here for a little while, so uh, let's give it a taste. All right, way too hot to taste anything. Um, just gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit before I burn my tongue. All right, so everything's cooled down. Uh, let's give it another try. Vibrant, acidic, very sweet, smooth. 
same, exact same, more chocolate, darker notes, cherry. I'm not sure if it's too big of a difference, but I'm definitely picking up on some subtleties. I think we gotta wait more for it to cool down. All right, so it's cooled down even more. Um, so let's give it a final taste. All right, so there's one difference that I can pick up on um, besides this being a phenomenal coffee. I think this one's really shining through on the acidity part. Whereas this one, it's almost a little bit um, muted flavor. I'm gonna say it's like it's diluted a little bit. Um, definitely smoother in that sense, um, where it doesn't have that sort of harsh vibrancy going on. But yeah, this one's just shining through that bright, vibrant acidity. Uh, whereas this one's a little bit more muted, a little bit more toned down, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, definitely a difference. Um, I feel like you would have to be side by side comparing the two to actually pick up on these uh, subtleties, but still there is a difference. Um, and I'm super interested to see if you guys can taste a difference between these two drippers or similar drippers. Um, so yeah, that was my video. I'm pretty stoked that this actually worked out and that I could pick up on something. I think it's still very important to realize that these are very small differences. Both drippers produce really good coffee. I wouldn't, my motive here isn't to say this so that you go for the more expensive dripper. It's more about seeing what's the difference, what the taste is um, and whether the material actually does have a difference. So yeah, love to hear what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Happy brewing.